So uh, a couple of things we need to cover that fit inside the big video because the first video is like an hour and a half long. So I have a, I'm have making a bunch of smaller ones that show other features but are overall related to the same project. But let's get back to the beginning and remember in the app when we spoke about these different stacks and we spoke about the auth stack, we never really implemented login and create account. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to focus on login and create account. And once again, we're going to use Superbase. So let's take a see if we can find the Superbase documentation. And here we are in authentication. And so let's get this fired up. So let's go into settings and enable email sign up. Uh, if enabled, the user will be required to confirm an email changes, both old and new. New. Let's just turn all this other stuff off for now. Okay. All right. Enable if email you confirm an email. No, we don't. You have to confirm. So let's turn that off. Okay. We're not going to do anything magical right now. We're just going to do basic email login to show you how quickly it is to get it, quick. It is and easy to get it set up. So we've configured email email sign up and that's all set. So now let's actually look at the API documentation, see what it says, how to get that working. We're gonna focus on user management. All right, so here we are. Makes it real easy to sign up, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do these two: the sign up and then the user login. So let's go back to our code. And let's hop over to our auth stack. And uh, let's start in, yeah, let's start in our auth stack. And so let's look at our, our login page. And so here we just have our email and our pass. Uh, this is the create account. We just want login. So here we are on login. Let's get this out of there. And I'm going to take the title out and we're going to say set email set password and then we're going to do like we did in the other ones we're going to have just some local state variables to manage it and we're going to say email and password and set password And that's how we get those two values. So there's email and password. This is just what we did in the other um, in the other document. I mean, sorry, in the other screen. It's, but let's add our function here for the on press on create on login. And on login, we're going to call a function called do login. We don't uh, we don't need to. We don't need to pass it any variables because we're just going to use the state variables that we have um, for the authentication. So let's save this and let's go up top here. Function to login. And this is a async. And so what we're going to do in here is we are going to use the API calls. Actually, no, we're going to add an API call to our Superbase client for login. So let's go down here in the bottom. Const. Sign in. And then we're going to copy the functions directly from the documentation. So user sign in, this is what we want. And let's go back, let's drop that in. And we are going to get our email and password passed into us. So we'll just email password. 
and then we will just return this. And we're going to go down here and add sign in. So, and also let's make sure I get this right, Superbase client. So now let's go back to our off stack. And in here, we are going to do const user error and equals wait sign in. That automatically imported it, so let's just so everyone's happy. Uh, where is it? Sign in from Superbase client is right there. And we need to, so if there's an error, if error, then we're going to throw an error message. Otherwise, the user's logged in. And we need to get the email. password which we're passing in so those will get passed into the call and on error we're going to use our trusty alert and if there's an error we're just going to throw an alert and where, where did I just Okay, an error logging in. So error signing in. All right, so why is that doing that? Hold on. Oh, wait. Before we move on, though, let's check a couple of things. So that's right, that's right. Email to set password. There should be password. So we set the password properly. Um, create account. Our do login looks good. Uh, do sign in. All right. This looks right. Uh, but we need to account for the authentication. So let's go back to our app. And this is all the code, the authentication code I spoke about in the beginning. So let's uncomment this and talk about what's happening here. What's happening here is that when Superbase initializes, it checks for an authentication session. If there's a session, I set auth. If auth is set, then I route to the home screen. If auth is not set, then I route to the auth stack. What I also do is I set up this listener, and what this will do is if the authentication state changes, then I set the auth to the authentication session. So then once again, auth is true. Then since auth is true, it will go to the home screen stack. So this, what will happen is this will automatically pick up when a user logs in and will change the um, auth session. We'll change the auth here to true. So as soon as I log in, it will switch the navigation stack to the home screen versus the authentic versus the auth screen stack. And the exact same happens, opposite happens when I log out. This listener will detect that I've logged out. It'll null out the auth. Auth is null, and then it'll redirect to the auth stack. So and this loading here, what it does is this is just holding to make sure that we um, give Superbase some time to get the auth session before we attempt to render any stack. All right, so let's kind of save this and see what happens. All right, it's throwing an error because I didn't export Superbase. This is actually Superbase client. I should move this inside of my client, but for now, I'll just leave it out here to get this moving. Let's take their client and add that here and add that here and save again. All right, so it doesn't think I have a user. And so that's why we're where we are. And so now let's go back to my auth stack. Let's check everything. My do login. And I have my sign in function. Let's check my sign in function. And my sign in function looks 
OK, except for this. I want to sign in, not sign up. Sign in. OK, and we let's see if it, let's go back to my OSDAC. It should start throwing errors because I don't have any users. So let's make sure that works. Um, that's not good. Uh, what's it complaining about? Title is not defined. So what is title? Okay, so we're up. Let's test and see if we can get any errors generated. All right, alert is not defined and do login. So let's get alert added. And that should automatically add it as an import. Let's try again. So we're getting what we expected. Well, so because I don't have any users. But I just realized I can't log in without users, so let's hop over and let's do create account. And so we can copy a lot of the code that we've already put together for um, in our do login screen. So let's just start by just taking all of this right now for my login screen. And let's hop down to our create account screen. And we'll just go right here at the top. We can remove this set text because we know we're not going to use text at all. And it looks like I can remove this left content because we're not using that at all. And let's just paste that code in. Let's remove this because it's in the way. And error signing up Let's be our error here. And what we're going to do, this would be do create account. And for create account, so this would be in sign up. And we're going to send email, password, and we're going to take first. And we're going to take last. OK. And now this, now we need to kind of get uh, these text fields the same way we did for login. So we have password, copy, first, last, first, last. And set last. Set first, F I R C. And so now we have those guys set. So we have our email first pass. And now let's go down to our text field and clean this up. So email, this should be email set email. This is first. And then we go down here, and this should be set first. And we go down to last. And same thing down here, this should be set last. And set email, set first, set last, and we already have set password. Um, let's turn off. Auto capitalize equals none. Let's do it on that email. We'll leave it on our first and our last, and we'll turn off on password. And then let's go down and on create account, we want to call our function that we created called do create account. And our function's asynchronous, so we'll go wait there and pop an async in front there. And then let's go up to our function. And like I said, it's just going to pull the values directly from the local state variables. So do create account looks like it's set on this side, but we need to actually create an account on the Superbase side. Let's go to our Superbase client. We have our sign in function. And our sign up is going to be very similar. We're just going to copy it. We're going to change this to sign up. And we're going to take our additional variables. So we're going to say first, last. This will be switched to sign up. And what we want to do is we're going to store additional data in a new table called profile. And so let's go over to Superbase if we can get there. So here's Superbase, and we have our tables. And we're going to create a new table. 
profiles. We're not doing security right now. We're going to leave the, the ID needs to get switched to UUID. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take the ID from the user that was created, and we're going to use that as the ID for the profile information so we can find it easier. Let's add our columns first. This is going to be text, I believe. Where is it? Let's just keep it as text. Last. And that text. And then we're going to save the email address again. Email and text. Save. So now we have our profiles table and what we're going to do is after sign up is successful we're going to insert the information in the profiles table. So let's go back to our source code and so we are first remember this is two parts let's make sure we export this. Sign up. Eh. All right. Um, there's two parts. First, you need to create the account in Superbase, and then you need to actually insert the record. And so let's go up here and grab an insert. Where do we do an insert? Save charger data. This should work. We're going to come down here, and after sign up, because it's two steps, uh, we're going to go in here, and we are going to add the profiles, and we are going to pass in all this data. So we're going to do this, except for password. And then we need to set the ID. And the ID is going to come from the user, which we have above. So we're going to say user dot ID. So we're going to get the ID from the user, and that's what we're going to insert into the profiles table. But we need to handle the errors here. So this first error is going to be sign up error and this next error is going to be profile error and what we are going to do is if there's no sign up error then we're going to execute this code and and then inside of here, if there's an error, we're going to return the error as a profile error. We're going to return the profile error as the error. Otherwise, down, and then this will jump out um, if there's no sign up error. But if there is a sign up error, then we're just going to return the error as sign up error. We don't want the user at all. We're not really doing anything with the user. We can get the user later. So this, so this is how we're going to handle this. Um, so sign up, and let's add sign out, sign out, because we're going to need that eventually. So let's just kind of drop that in here somewhere. And this API is pretty straightforward. Sign out. It takes no parameters, and all we need from it is, it, is a user. I mean, is an error if an error is thrown, and we'll put sign out up here. Okay. So now let's see if we can create an account. So let's hop back over to our auth stack. We're in do create account. We're going to pass the parameters. If there's an error, it's going to throw an error. Otherwise, we're good. And remember what I said about the beginning here that creating a user will create a session so it should automatically transition us to the home screen stack. And then in the home screen stack, so we know we're actually logged in, let's just go right up here in the top right before our list and just just title T only title. And in here we'll put the email address of the person that has connected. So we can say super base client, since now I'm just using it everywhere, user oh, auth user email oh, sorry, get the user like that, then email. 
And so we'll be we'll get the user's email that I can let's put it let's let's say be nice and welcome. All right. Let's give it a go. So a at mail dot go. Oh, did I not fix the using create account? Let's see. Let's refresh and see what's happening. Let's try it again. Create account. Okay, so why are we getting text on? Text is not defined. Where is text still showing up? Right here. Password. Uh, we were missing the password one. This should be set password. Let's try it again. Create account. That's better. A at mail. Um, all right, somebody threw an exception, what well, wasn't good. Sign up is not defined, I didn't pass it back. Sign up. And let's now pull it in there, we have our sign up. Okay. Now let's try. We already have the data here. Let's see if it'll go through. Uh, looks like I need to refresh, which I do not want to do. Okay, refresh, create account. At mail.com, Aaron Saunders RS password123. Error title is not defined. So I didn't import the title, but it looked like it created my user. So let's go into my home stack and import title. Where is title? Title. So that should import it from React Native Paper. Dismiss. Let's refresh. And so it logged in with my user automatically, and that happened because it found the user session. And so since it found the user session, it set auth to true. Since auth was true, it redirected to me to my own screen stack. What's missing is our logout. So let's add a logout. We're, it's going to be ugly, but we're going to just shove it right up here on the side. So let's go to home stack. And we're going to copy these this navigation options. And instead of this header right, we're going to take and do a header left with the logout. And we're going to make the button look a little different. We're going to call sign out. That should have auto, unless this needs to be async. Yes, right. See, let's do an await. This should have auto imported it. So let's just verify. So sign out is there. And let's refresh and see if we get our button. And I didn't get my button. What did I not do? Um, we were at the home screen, right? Oh, I did two right buttons. This should be header left. And let's refresh. And it should not be add. It should actually be logout. Let's refresh. Okay, let's see if I can log out my user. So a user logged out, came back to the screen, and I should be able to get back in. A mail. Why? Is, let me turn off that capitalization on my login screen. Oh, stack screen. Email auto capitalize equals none. And let's make sure we do the same on our password. Now let's refresh. And let's do a at mail.com. Login. Hmm. One, two, three. Let's try that. There we go. And so it's logging in as we wanted to. So we showed how to log in a user and how to create a user. And then let's also show you Superbase to see that we actually saved the profile information for the user because that would be important. And looks like we didn't. So, let's go see why that didn't work. Hmm. Oh, 
more profiles. Let's look at our code and look at our function, base client, sign up. So error, sign up error. If there's no sign up error, then from profiles, insert email first, last ID using the user ID that we got from the user up here. This all looks right. And what's interesting, it didn't throw an error. Let's log out, try to create another user. Be at mail. That one worked fine, so, hmm. I don't know what at first would then go through, but it looks like everything is working fine. And then we can take a look here at our users. We see we have our users. And like I said in a later video, or maybe we'll show how to do a profile, you can see how we can pull the data back based on this user ID, right? Because there is the user, there's the user ID. So if we look at the um, B at mail, we can see the ID ends in C598. And if we go to our profiles table, we can see it ends, let's uh, edit this row. We can see it ends in the same ID. So once, so what happens is the cat, well, actually, let's just show you. Um, we don't really have anything to do with the data now, but we'll just show you on the sign in. So what we're gonna do is after I sign in, we're gonna use the same approach that we did with the sign up. If there's no error, we'll just pull in the other data. So let's go in here. So if there's no error, then that means we successfully logged in. So now let's get the user. And so we can do similar to this get charger by ID. We can go like this and come down here. And after signing is successful, we're going to get from profiles. We're just going to pull in everything and where the ID equals the user ID, which we'll get off this user here. So let's get this user. Let's say user dot ID. And then we'll just console log out the data that we get back so that you know that it actually worked. All right, error. And then we're going to call this the user error. So if there's no error, then did the user error, and then down here we're going to return. If an error happened, we'll return this error. Actually, what we want to do, yeah, let's do this. Let's now let's log out. Let's log in as well, let's refresh. Let's log in as b at mail.com. And then if we look at our console, we get all the information right here where we get when it was created, we get to be a mail, we get the first name, we get the last name, we get the ID. So that's how, that's why we tied them together with the um, ID that came from the user. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna end this video now. Like I said, we're gonna create a series of short videos to augment the longer video. Um, I think the next one we need to cover delete. No. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and stick around and catch the next video that adds value on the big guy. Talk to you later. Bye.